Hey, what's up everyone? I can't get the screen recorder to work, so I'm just making, uh, it's just a black background, black screen video. But I've got a couple of things to talk about. First, similar to what Jay Chris was talking about yesterday, big shout out to him, big fan of him, and big fan of the individual that he, uh, that he interviewed in his video where they talked. The, uh, they were very, very insightful, very informative, and very truthful. It needs to be spread, I tell you, it needs to be spread worldwide, that video. But I don't know when people became so uptight about everything. I mean, people seem so on edge. And everywhere you go, it feels it's like flipping Big Brother's watching you. Like, like the flipping system is just watching everything you do. It's ridiculous. And I, I'll, uh, I was, like when uh, you go to anywhere, it's like things have to be done this way, they have to be done this way, this way, a certain way. Um, people are so uptight lately. And everything is so, it's like, everything is so uptight, so, so, and for a little while, things were relaxed, you know, but it depends on where you go, I guess, but it's just, they act like that, I mean, when, what happened to freedom? What happened to just, well, I'll let you do this, this can slide, this can, you can do that, whatever, blah, blah, blah. People are just like, no, everything has to be done by the book. We're being watched by the government. The cameras are on us right now. Facial recognition, big brother. And that's the way it feels. It feels like we're, it feels like we're living in a society just like George Orwell of uh, 1980 book, some 84 book. It's like we're living in that time now. And people are so uptight and... and the people, not necessarily, but the system and those that are being enforced by the system, they're sort of, they're, uh, you know, they're being forced to comply with certain regulations, rules and regulations, I guess. And I understand to a degree, I get some parts. You've got to enforce regulations, you've got to enforce a certain amount of rules, otherwise people do chaotic crap and things go wrong but I mean that I understand to a degree to a degree but all of this forced implementation of everything is causing too much it's too much I, and I'll talk a little bit more about why I'm talking about this in another video I don't have time right now but I'll talk about it later as to why I'm talking about this what brought it up another thing is have you noticed how many asteroids are suddenly nearly missing us? We had an asteroid, a city killer asteroid, they said, that narrowly missed us today. Yesterday, sorry, we were told late. We were told like, what, 18 hours or so after it happened? And I feel a strong connection right now beyond, like with nature and everything that I can't even explain. I can't even begin to explain it, the connection I feel right now. But the thing is, uh, I don't know. I don't know why it's taking so long, but it's happening gradually. By the way, the fifth world, if you're watching, let me know what you meant by... Um, and yes, I know, the new world, it's, it's, it's happening now. It is transitioning. It's just taking a heck of a long time and a painful process in the meantime. But, uh, but let me know what you meant by, by your comment in my previous video regarding the strange things and the spraying that was going on around here and the drones and all of that in the previous video. Let me know what you meant in that comment. I never did get a response. I just would like to know what you meant. But anyway, sending love to you, by the way. But it's just, everyone is so uptight. It's crazy all of a sudden. Everyone is just so, and it's like Jay Chris said, it's true uh, that I wanted to make a video on that right, as, right when he was doing that, which was, it's ironic, I mean, sort of how how uh, you don't realize someone else is making a video on something and then you get the mindset to make a video about it but you never do I, I never do do it because it's like whoa someone else was actually tackling that topic right as I was about to synchronicities that's what I call that but back to what I was mentioning a moment ago so many near miss asteroids and they're like oh crap they just oh my goodness they just narrowly missed us we had one yesterday that just narrowly missed us and they're just now telling about it they said it would have destroyed an entire city and caused chaos We've had, shoot, probably, I don't know, it's been tens, there's been tens of, there have been tens of asteroids that have been a near miss for the past, in the past month. We've had several close calls 
within the past months, a uh, month. I don't know whether that's a wake up call or what, <clears throat> but I know that. I mean, when did we start becoming so not laxed? That's not the correct word. When did we start becoming so having so many whoopsies, having so many oops? We missed this one. I mean, near misses. When did we start having so many near misses that all of a sudden we've started having a bunch of asteroids, a bunch of them that are missing us? And instead of actually funding to protect the Earth from asteroids, they said, even though 65% uh, of the population said, hey, yeah, let's, let's fund that. Let's protect us here on Earth instead of going off to Mars or the moon. And what did they do? We're going to Mars and the moon, and we're not going to fund the the asteroid protect, pr protection. We're not going to put any more into that because people like Jeff Bezos and the people ahead of Amazon and uh, the people ahead of those corporations and Tesla and uh, uh, people ahead of uh, the companies like uh, Elon Musk's company, they stated that we, would, we need to go to the moon and Mars because the Earth is dying. We've killed it. We've killed our chance here and all this. Uh, and, and instead of protecting us, they want to go there. Even though the people voted, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether people voted, but that doesn't matter to them. But the people voted to protect the Earth, but they didn't. Um, but why these near misses? Like, boom! Oh my goodness! Okay, an asteroid just almost hit us. Whew, we just missed it. Whew. <laughs> I mean, I mean, all of these near misses. But yeah, people are so uptight. Everything is so controlled. Big Brother's watching you. The cloud, the cameras, the facial recognition, voice recognition, the control. It's just all of this constant communication. We're all being monitored. We're being tracked. We're being... Every, every movement you make, everything you state, everything you do, everywhere you're at, every motion you make, uh, every time you make a phone call, uh, every time you go to... If you make a phone call to pay a bill or ask a question... If those the bills that you don't pay, you know, through debit on online through through the through their website or whatever. Sometimes we'll do it that way, and I'll do it for my mama online. But the thing is, they say this call is monitored and recorded. If you even get a little bit, every everyone's like, oh, you're testy, you're becoming unruly or moody. That's the way society views it. You just have a viewer opinion, and you're unruly. It's like we are mind controlled. We're in that's not freedom that's not freedom that is that is complete totalitarian control and it's been that way for the past it's been going that way consistently for the past 10 years now and it's slacked off a bit but it's still happening because it was in the works and in the plans but it 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 really happened during the previous administration but the uh They've been doing it under the guise of security, peace and security, and and uh, maintaining security since 9/11. And uh, if you remember that Rick and Morty phrase, where the excuse, you know that, that I'll, I'm not going to state that in this video because I don't want to cause controversy, but it was in the 9/11 episode of Rick and Morty, the season three premiere with uh, Nathan Fillion, where he guest starred, Castle guest starred as an interdimensional alien uh, on that show. He was like, it's excuse the way of freedom. I'm not going to say much because I don't want to get demonetized or in trouble and all of that, but not that I'm really making anything from that monetization, but I haven't made anything yet. I mean, I haven't made enough to even receive anything from it. You have to get to the $100 threshold before they give you anything. But here's the thing. Um, everything is so uptight, and that's like totalitarianism. That's just like dictatorship, control. It's like mind control and it's like um, that's like they do over in China and it's like communism it's like it's not freedom to be so uptight that you're being watched 24 7 when you go places you're when you go anywhere I mean where we are is one of the last places that's not really consistently under the radar so to speak I mean on the radar so to speak but it's just when you go to town when you go places it's like oh well can't say anything calls are monitored um, Amazon, I know they keep your emails for two years. They keep your messages and they keep it on file. Your voice is on file, everything. Your phone calls are on file. And uh, it's crazy. But 
it's too much of a totalitarian situation and people are so uptight because they have to continue to enforce these rules and be so they're so afraid to go outside of the lines that they that it's caused them to be stressed and there's just so much I mean people don't get the time to be human they don't get the time to just no one gets the time to live it's sad it is a sad sad thing yes the the moment is coming the light is coming it's taking its time I'm sure I assume I feel that it's coming but the world we're living in now it's really sad the way they've got it the way they have it and the strain that it puts on everyone me and everyone around that feels that emotional emotion from it that emotion that what it causes and all of that control causes so much stress on people and you don't get the time to just be human just to be experience the here and now by being focused on the control and the consistent non-stop you know working school I mean you have to do those things in this world you have to go to work you have to make up make money or you just you know you can't pay the bills you can't get you can't live obviously unless you live off the grid and they don't want you to do that at all anymore but I mean obviously you have to do these things otherwise you just die but um, can't people be a li can't it be a little bit more laxed and less totalitarian less of a George Orwell situation and just let's just you know people just chill the frick out you know what I mean just <laughs> plain English just chill the frick out everyone just calm down everybody calm down everyone calm down you know I mean crap I mean people so much so much violence and so much chaos over what I mean I mean and there's so much monetization happening to where people don't have any freedom but that's the way it is and it's just everyone is so today the energy everyone has been so uptight but anyway we've been okay but everyone around has been so uptight anyway that's all for this video just want to talk about a couple of things that and the asteroids and things Peace, much love. My links are below if you like if you'd like to help support the cause. Peace. Signing out.